bump, I'm a hump on a bump, Jack and Jill up a hill, baby trying to get a meal. Yo guys, what's up? It's Omega back with another video. And if you guys do enjoy this video, if it helps you out in any way, shape, or form, please do leave the like, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, enjoy the video. But anyway, today I'm gonna be talking about how I got diamond for the rockets pretty easily. I'm not gonna lie, it got hard at the last part with the double kills. Those <laughs> those were the most trickiest parts. But anyway, I hope this will help you in any way, shape, or form. So yeah, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, enjoy the video. So first, let's start off with like the double kills, because those are going to be the hardest part. Anyway, basically what I did for those, I just went to Nuketown, as you can see on the screen, and legit, just those two buses in Nuketown, literally the best spot you can do. You know, get the smokes on, throw smoke in between those two buses, and then just sit there, melee the first guy, and another guy comes around, and melee the second guy. If not, then you're going to have to run out and look through the doorways. Usually, there's people always run through the doorway, so what I did, I usually just meleeed, and then I shot a rocket through the doorway and hope that it killed someone, because they're usually either going to be in the back, or they're going to be in the garage somewhere. That's where it really gets easy, though, for those two parts. The double kills were a really hard part, in my opinion, though. I don't know if you guys might have a hard part in it, but it was really difficult, so I suggest trying to get frustrated, take your time with it, and it'll be easy for you. Next is going to be the aerial kills and ground score streaks and stuff. That part was simple enough for the uh, Seeger or whatever it's called. The one that locks on. The Sigma. The Sigma is called. My fault, guys. My fault. The Sigma is the easiest thing for that because it locks on to any vehicles and stuff. You just go into combined arms. You know, same with the one where you have to get three different score streak eliminations in uh, multiplayer just go into combined arms and do that but the rocket launcher one go into combined arms you know rpg combined arms super easy for any of those literally took me about maybe 30 minutes to get both of them done uh you know you might have an easier time than me though i suggest putting on engineer scavenger and ninja so this way you can't be heard when you're sneaking up on someone if you're gonna go and kill them you know basically the kills they need to get for the rockets as well those are gonna be pretty easy too literally just go and kill people as you're going around combined arms is still a good way to do this because usually people that are driving them you know they're gonna be easy to kill they're gonna be easy to just get them like that what's another one 25 equipment score streaks destroyed easy for the rocket launcher easy for the sigma both you can get done just going into town or you can go into combined arms either one works literally any map just make sure you have an engineer on because that is the most important thing it helps easily trying to find all the stuff with the equipments you know you can also do a score streak so really you just get done no matter what when you think about it double kills or two kills without dying easy as well Literally, just stick in one spot. You know, I know camping, camping is bad. It's bad. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to be that guy. But you're going to have to if you want to get this done. So, yeah. But anyway, I hope this does help you in your grind to Dark Matter Ultra or just getting the Rocket Diamond in general. I hope it does help you. If it does, please do like. Enjoy the tutorial I just made. And, uh, yeah. Peace out. Bye-bye.